Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install an MQTT broker called EMQX. EMQX is a high-performance, open-source MQTT broker that's widely used for connecting IoT devices and real-time messaging. For more information, you can visit their website at emqx.com. On the EMQX open source download page, I selected the Debian OS because I'm using a Debian VPS. In the package options, there are several versions available. I'll be using the latest version, and for the package type, I chose Debian 12 to match the version I'm running on my VPS. The installation steps are pretty straightforward, just follow the three simple steps provided on the website. The first step is to download the latest version. Just copy the command from the website and run it in the terminal connected to your VPS. In this example, I'm using Visual Studio Code. Wait a moment until the download is complete. The second step is to copy the installation command from the website and run it in the terminal. This command will handle the installation of EMQX on your VPS. Once executed, the terminal will automatically begin setting up the necessary components. Just wait a few moments for the process to finish. The next step is to start the EMQX service on your VPS. This command activates the EMQX broker, ensuring it begins running and is ready to handle connections from devices or clients. Once the service is started, EMQX will be up and running in the background, ready to manage MQTT messages. We can access the EMQX console by entering the IP address of the VPS followed by the port number, which is 18083. On the login page, enter admin as the username, and use public as the default password. After logging in, you'll be able to change the admin password to something more secure for better protection and privacy. Now, let's test MQTT communication using Node-RED. In the Node-RED flow, we'll create a simple flow starting with an inject node, which we will connect to an MQTT out node. For the MQTT out node, add a server with the IP address of the VPS where we've installed the EMQX broker. In the security tab, We'll leave it empty for now, and we can configure it later if needed. On the inject node, set the MQTT topic that you want to send. Then, set the payload to be a string, which will be the content of the MQTT message that will be sent to the EMQX broker. This topic and payload will be the message format that will be published and processed by the broker. To receive the MQTT message that is sent, add an MQTT in node and connect it to a debug node. In the MQTT in node, set the server that you previously added and specify the topic of the message that you want to subscribe to. In the debug node, set it to show the complete message object so you can view the entire message that will be received. We will see that when the inject node is pressed, the MQTT message will be sent by the MQTT out node, received by the MQTT in node, and its payload will be displayed in the debug node. This shows that MQTT is working correctly. Next, let's return to the EMQX broker console. I will configure authentication, which means the MQTT broker will require a username and password to be accessed. This ensures that not everyone can connect to our MQTT broker, adding an extra layer of security to prevent unauthorized access. After setting up authentication with password-based security, the next step is to add a user. Fill in the username and password for the user. This user will be authorized to connect to the MQTT broker. To apply the changes, restart EMQX. Run the restart command in the terminal to restart the EMQX service and make sure the new authentication settings take effect. After restarting, the MQTT broker now requires a username and password to connect. If we look at the node red flow we created earlier, since we didn't input a username and password in the security tab, the MQTT status shows as connecting and cannot be accessed. So, now we need to enter the username and password to connect to the MQTT broker successfully. After entering the username and password, the connection status to the MQTT broker changes to connected. We can now publish and subscribe again, and the messages will be received successfully. In the authentication overview, we can view statistics such as the total number of allowed connections, total denies, and other related data. This gives us an insight into how the authentication system is performing and whether there are any issues with unauthorized access attempts. In the EMQX console, there is also a WebSocket client feature. 
This allows us to test the MQTT broker through WebSockets, which is a protocol commonly used for real-time communication between clients and servers. It's a great way to verify the broker's functionality and ensure that messages can be sent and received over WebSockets. In this video, we learned how to install and configure the EMQX MQTT broker on a Debian VPS. We covered how to set up basic authentication for secure access and tested MQTT communication using Node-RED. By adding username and password authentication, we ensured only authorized users can connect to the broker. We also explored the EMQX console, where we can monitor authentication statistics and use the WebSocket client for real-time communication testing. This setup allows you to securely manage and monitor MQTT messages, making it ideal for IoT applications and real-time messaging systems. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to like, and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next video.